I am with Meg Johnson, who is one of the co-founders of Extinction Rebellion Furnace. So welcome. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, one of the things that I've been really excited because uh, my listeners will know that I've talked about you about every two weeks because <laughs> of the two tin. I've been practicing this two tin Tuesday challenge. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell me how you started that as a group and sort of the successes that you've had with the collections? So two tin Tuesday came about when we were made aware that the local food bank was starting to struggle because of COVID. Um, whether that was because people were unable to physically donate because of lockdown and shielding restrictions, and also because of the over-purchasing that was happening at the supermarkets leading to restrictions on purchases, so their volunteers were unable to buy more. And because of that, the local food bank began to really struggle. So we decided to think of an easy initiative in which we could support this really important community hub um, food resilience and food security is one of Extinction Rebellion's major concerns, as well as community resilience, because we would like to have communities that are able to hold each other together when the climate crisis begins to affect. We can become self-sufficient almost. Um, so it was really important to do that. Um, I personally love a bit of alliteration. So Two Tin Tuesday came quite easy to me to say. Um, and we thought, simply having two tins to offer because during this time you know a lot of people are struggling we didn't want to ask for any more and we felt that if every person within the community was able to offer at least two tins on their doorstep then we would put ourselves out there to collect and we were expecting maybe 20 30 emails to come through but in the first weekend of launching it we had over 200 emails come oh, through wow. their addresses oh, please excuse my baby <laughs> making noise in the background. so um yeah so that's that how it happened because oh, i've seen the pictures um and so i've been following all the different collection points so how oh, it, when did it start and how much have you raised so we've done it for five tuesdays now so for every fortnight that would be 10 weeks. Um, and we have managed to raise, I think it's just over what was 4,000 kilograms worth of food, which equates to just over 10,000 meals. So. That, that is truly amazing. And particularly, uh, uh, I've, I've interviewed people from the food bank and sort of talked to them about the sort of need in the area. And also with everything with COVID happening, it's even bigger now the need. So what you've done is, is amazing. Um, for those of us who might not be familiar with Extinction Rebellion, can you explain what the organization is? So the organization is primar primarily a climate and ecological movement. Um, they have four major principles to live by, and that would be that we try to lobby governments to tell the truth as to the effects of the climate crisis that's hitting. So everybody is fully aware of the severity of it. Um, for them to act now, uh, sooner than 2050, ideally by 2025, to have kind of green resilient plans in place, to hold citizens' assemblies, which means that the people have a stronger voice with government legislation. And that's backed by science, um, not just by government committees and fourthly the latest one is to include social justice in there which is also where Tutin Tuesday comes in which basically means that the plight of the people and the plight of the planet becomes center of a profit. What um, with COVID obviously a lot of organizations have had to either scale back their operations or sort of postpone events um, you said that you've got a something coming up the first of September what's that? Yeah, so on the 1st of September, um, your viewers might have seen in October last year and April before that, there was large demonstrations in the capital. In, on the 1st of September, uh, that will be happening again, though with less disruption to the ordinary working man as we've learned and grown and decided to um, really kind of focus in our issues to Parliament. So there'll be a large demonstration outside of Parliament where they're hoping to keep Parliament closed because it's due to open on the 1st of September until the government promised to make the climate emergency central to all policy. We are, however, aware, sorry, no, about I, I, kind of... I was going to ask yeah, about, obviously, COVID, it sort of, sort of restricts some people in being able to, even just to travel on public transportation to London, but how could people at home sort of get involved if they can't make that journey? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, so that's something that the movement is fully aware of. Also, some people, you know, will be critical about traveling all the way to London or even though if you're already in London, being in a close proximity. So there's a second strand to it that XR Furnace has put forward to the national movement that's been accepted and that's climate, climate community resilience. So that would be actions that can happen at home. So over the next few weeks on the run up to the 1st of September and then from the 1st of September, if you go to our Facebook page, we'll be releasing actions that you can do, come and join in locally. Obviously, social distancing measures will be in place. Um, and also if things that you can do just through showing your support if you are shielding and keeping yourself at home. It's about raising awareness and it's about bringing communities together as well as showing what it is we're fighting for. Um, before we close up, could you remind us where we could find information about the, um, the work that you're doing now with 210 Tuesday or sort of plans for the future? Yeah, sure. So we have just launched our website and that's simply xrfurnace.com uk i believe oh i should check that now yep xrfurnace.uk um and also find us on facebook as well where you can double check that <laughs> website address well thank you so much and i'm looking forward to seeing sort of how this progresses through the summer and and you know see what happens on the first of september i think it'll be interesting if nothing else it'll be a very sort of exciting event to to watch Exactly. We're, for good or for bad, we're actually living in history now. So yeah. let's play our part in it and play the right side. Well, thank you so thank much. You.